Hey, what is going on guys? It's Ed here from Ever Faster Racing and in this video I'll be doing a short F1 race at the Red Bull Ring in Austria because finally this weekend F1 is back. We've been waiting since March for this and finally we can get to see some real racing. So for this race I'll be playing as Max Verstappen starting from last on the grid and hopefully we can get up to the top in the 18 laps which is the 25% race distance. I have the AI slightly lower than usual just to make it a little bit easier but I might increase that if I do more of these. Also this is an important video as this will be my last video on F1 2019. I get the F1 2020 version on Tuesday as I pre-ordered the deluxe edition so I'll have lots of videos about that next week. So that's enough from me, let's get into the race. So here we are about to start the race, five lights coming on for the Mini Austrian Grand Prix and the lights are out now and we are underway, it's a pretty good getaway in first gear then shifting all the way up to fifth for that one, trying uh, to limit the wheel spin, uh, probably not my best start but we're going to go along with it, uh, so as you can see all the field slow up there so we do need to be a little bit careful into turn one but uh, the uh, immense power of the Honda engine in the back of the Red Bull does make us go past the Alfa Romeo there. So hopefully we can make some moves on the Williams as well. Right up behind Kibitza here as they all slow down for turn three, which is probably um, one of the most hardest corners at the start, especially uh, on the Austrian Grand Prix. So as you can see, almost trying to get past Kibitza here, going a little bit on the grass, so uh, not very successful there, but we should manage to make the move into turn four, which we do. We make the move on the early Williams of George Russell as well, almost, so I think we just about get it done there. Uh, so yeah, pretty good start. We're up to P17 in the first few corners as we go through the fast uh, sector 2 here. Uh, we're up behind Orlando Norris as well. Um, it's kind of weird to see a McLaren uh, this way back down the field. Hopefully they do a little bit better this weekend, but uh, yeah, we should be able to get the move done on the pitch straight now. As you can see, um, coming into sector 3 now and then into turn 9 and 10. Uh, very fun corners, especially if you see the onboards are very um, tense going through there. As you can see, trying to find the grip there as well so um, DRS not on yet we're still not on lap 3 uh, DRS is activated then so we go around the outside of Lando Norris there but we do have to slow up a little bit because Raikkonen and Kvyat are having a little bit of a battle but we do manage to get a lot of slipstream from Raikkonen so we do uh, should manage to get past Kvyat here especially with the uh, addition of the extra ERS now so uh, yeah it's just coming into turn 3 we do manage to get the move done as we can see we have a 3 wide battle ahead of us between Sainz, Gasly and Perez as we go alongside with Kimi Raikkonen now so making some very good moves at the start of this mini Grand Prix. Was, Raikkonen does hit us a little bit and we do go into Gasly as a result of that which isn't very good but damage is off though. We move forward to the end of lap 2 we're right behind Gasly uh, who's, a, who's behind Perez and we do manage to get a lot a much better exit than Gasly so we do manage to get past him uh, before turn 1. So now our targets are definitely Perez and Sainz as DRS comes on now and we do uh, almost manage to get past Perez side by side with Perez now but we do have to lift off a little bit uh, because car signs there which will go three wide momentarily there should manage to get cut past car signs here almost a bit of contact with Perez there uh, but we do manage to get past car signs anyway and DRS back open well Perez doesn't so we do uh, should hopefully manage to easily get past Perez here which we do there and then into turn four uh, locking up the wheels a little bit but we do manage to get past him no problems there uh, so we come uh, on to the end of lap three now into lap four we can see we're uh, past our old teammate Daniel Ricciardo here as we go side by side uh, down into turn one Renault definitely a little bit more challenging than the rest of the field um, especially like with the Toro Rosso's but we do manage to get past quite as easy with the DRS as well because we were behind at the DRS detection so uh, we've got uh, the other Renault of Hulkenberg ahead of us as you can see uh, this is the 2019 season obviously Hulkenberg is not racing in the 2020 season and as we do uh, manage to get a very good exit better than Hulkenberg but you do he does come back at us a little bit as because probably because we're in standard mix I do try and save fuel uh, for a little bit later as we almost go past Grosjean as well was thinking about it but we do manage to uh, hold off there it would have been a collision if we would have got past uh, tried to get past Grosjean uh, so uh, we're going to stick behind Grosjean now and wait for another opportunity to get past him. We're right up the gearbox of him now. Uh, so it's just a matter of when we're going to get past him. We are gaining uh, quite a lot here. Haas is definitely a little bit slower than the Red Bull uh, on the F1 2019 game. As we do go into turn 9 and Grosjean does back off and allow us through. Uh, so that was pretty good uh, from Grosjean there. As we do get uh, past, uh, we're probably going to get past Stroll here as well, which... Uh, 
very good move coming down here. Definitely much quicker than the uh, rest of the field here. As uh, Zia Lightshot does not prove um, any challenge too much. So, uh, yeah, so we're coming into the uh, lap six now. We've got uh, two drivers ahead of us, Magnussen and Albon, who uh, slow each other up a lot. So we do manage to get almost a switchback move, but uh, not just yet. So uh, as you can see, Magnussen giving us a double DRS toe here past Alexander Albon, our teammate. As we do almost, and we're going to go around the outside of Magnussen. It doesn't work too much, though, as Magnussen does seem to get a little bit of understeer there and go into us. But So uh, Alex Albon might be challenging us, but we go into sector two, and that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. We're trying to keep our eyes forward on Magnussen now um, in the Haas F1 car, so we shouldn't, uh, should be easy to get past, especially down the uh, pitch straight with the DRS assist uh, with us. Uh, so coming into turn 9 as well, very fun corner as I said, down into 7th gear and then down to 5th gear for the next corner. We do get an energy track limits, uh, which I guess is kind of fair. I did get uh, both tyres outside of the track, so yeah, but we do manage to get past Magnussen, which is very good. Almost at the end of turn 1, but we do turn in and Magnussen backs off there. So coming on to the end of lap 7 into lap 8 and we've got the two Ferraris ahead of us battling side by side and we don't even really know how this is going to end. They all slow each other up a lot. Leclerc ahead of Vettel and they all slow each other so much I do manage to uh, get side by side with Vettel quite easy but he's pushing us onto the grass a little bit so I have to be a little bit careful but going into turn 3 we should be able to get the braking all right but Vettel does stick with us a little bit. We do manage to get the inside line and that's... Uh, that, that, move there so as you can see we've got DRS assist on Leclerc now as well so we should be able to get an easy move going here down into turn four and they're going around the outside of Leclerc and he does back off so uh, yeah we're up to P3 now and then not really much happened we're into lap 10 now and this is when we are going to pit for our medium tyres uh, which is pretty, uh, which we do have to do in the 25% race uh, so we're coming into the pit lane here, uh, down to fourth gear, uh, I chose for the pit exit, and then uh, coming into the pit lane, make sure we don't get a penalty, and we are racing Hamilton and Bottas at the line, you can see Hamilton's in our pits, in his pits there, so I wasn't really expecting, uh, I was pretty much expecting Hamilton to get ahead of us, but we do manage to get a much faster pit stop than Hamilton, and I don't know if Hamilton was like held up or something, but we do manage to get ahead of Hamilton in the pit stop, so uh, definitely a good success there, didn't really want to risk getting past him in the in the race uh, he would have probably just uh, sped off because the ha Mercedes is much quicker than the Red Bull uh, but so we do manage to save that uh, quite well now we're on to lap 40 we're right behind Bottas as well um, so we have been we were gaining for quite a couple of laps actually uh, with the DRS open and we do manage to get again uh, some extra time with the Richmond and the high ERS deploys are as our ERS did kind of save itself a little bit. So it's good that we kind of saved it at the, at the start of the race. And we do make a very nice switch back at turn three. Uh, that's pretty much sealed first place for us there. But uh, with the Mercedes, it's it, there's going to be challenging us all the way to the end of the race, I think. Uh, but hopefully we do manage to keep the Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas behind. We skip to lap 16 now, and as you can see, the Mercedes is gaining as we're all side by side here. Try to squeeze into the edge of the track, but that doesn't happen. It's ahead of us into turn three, but uh, we managed our braking perfectly there, and we do manage to get the DRS as well, which is quite good, so we do manage to speed away from Valtteri Bottas there, which is uh, quite good. We're back up to first place, and now we're on to the last few corners of the race. You can see Valtteri Bottas Quite a ways behind, occasionally popping up in the proximity arrows, but uh, far and not too close that we'd have to worry about anything. Down to low, we're finishing with um, not much fuel left, but we uh, do have it positive. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I was aiming for there. We just come through the last corner, and the checkered flag waves us. We go to the pit wall, and that is my mini Austrian Grand Prix. Nice work, that's P1. Race win. Well done. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And also comment down below any feedback or suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.